the bell above the door to the Kryptonomica chimes. Well, where is it? Uh, in the chicanery. I keep only the most secret things back there, so mm, yeah. nosy Kirby doesn't get it. Come on. The inner, inner sanctum. Inner sanctum, yeah. Oh, nobody, nobody's allowed back in the chicanery. It is the innerest sanctum. And there are uh, display cases. There are all kinds of display cases and shelves. One of them has an Oscar in it. <laughs> and uh, stole when a you look, fucking Oscar. When, when you look at no, it, no, no, we got to dial in on this. Who did you steal an Oscar from, and what's the Oscar? It's uh, Clooney's Oscar for Sicario. That's he won an mean. Oscar for Sicario. I know. He went through so much to make that movie. Why I would know, you steal his but, fucking Oscar for no, no, it? No, 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 no. Well, there's a story behind it, but just to say that he thought it'd be kind of cool to steal something from Danny Ocean. <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, okay. But we finally end up at a case in the back. It's the only item in the, uh, it's the only item in the case, and it, it's dark. And I flip the switch on, and it illuminates the weapon. Uh, I really, I'm having kind of second thoughts about at this point. Oh God, man! Once, once I open that case, I mean, this is real. This is happening, and it's it's so annoying. Uh, an annoying? What do you mean annoying? The sword, man. It's so annoying. Does it talk in a funny voice? I mean... Just open the fucking case before I change my mind. All right. <clears throat> Back on with the clicks. Key. Open it up. There it is. I, I want this moment of the case open and, Doc, you are standing in front of it. And on this cushion, you see the weapon and are just kind of confronted with your past with all of the moments that your destiny has called out to you and you have turned away from it. And for the first time you're actually considering doing the opposite. And I reach in really slow <laughs> and I take the handle. That's what it's called. Hilt. There's another word for hilt. Yeah. There's a crossbar. That's what I meant to say. A cross card. So I grab the hilt. And when I do, it starts to unfurl, and I hold it up, and it unfurls into a blade. Well, look what the cat dragged in. <laughs> hey, hey, Beacon. Oh, Christ. Well, Doc Newton... I never thought this day would come. Have you had a fun 20 years, <laughs> Duck? I could sum up my... I know, man. I know that you've been... Lo I could sum up my time, if you like. <laughs> Let me summarize. A man comes into the room. He lays some trash on the ground. He leaves. That happened a thousand times, <laughs> Doc. Yeah, I know. I know it's been. Who's your friend, Doc? <laughs> oh, God. I am totally blown away. You're a I ventriloquist, have... Doc. No, I, I did not know that. This is no parlor trick, beast. <laughs> I'm surprised. <laughs> Imagine my surprise. I almost didn't recognize you without a can of soda and a magazine. <laughs> my name is Beacon. I am the light that stands at the edge of the darkness. I am the tower above the fog. I am the most beautiful, terrible weapon ever crafted. And I have spent the last 20 years in a flea market and how are you you're also a bit of a prick well i'm a sword get it <laughs> <laughs> do you see for 20 years i have wasted my rapier wit <laughs> ah. 
Jesus that's two Christ. in one. That's a very cutting comment, my friend. You, well, look at you attempting a turn of phrase that must have been exhausting. <laughs> Do you see what I mean now? I mean, can you? I I got about five minutes of that, and I mean. I was already really, really not sure about this. And he started chattering away, and I was like, okay, this is not for me. Uh, He was kind of the frosting on the cake, not the whole reason I bailed, obviously.